Hey, the Red Rocker Sammy Hagar here. Welcome to another Rock and Road Trip. Now, right now, we are in beautiful Hollywood Hills of Southern California, and we're outside of the home of Nuno Betancourt. Now, you know Nuno best from playing guitar at the extreme, but this guy's got his hands in all kinds of other things. He's played, written songs, produced songs, recorded songs with every kind of artist you can imagine, including Steve Perry, Janet Jackson, Rihanna. And guess who's in there with Nuno right now, huh? The front man of Extreme, another former Van Halen member, Gary Sharon. Gary, the man Sharon. See, I know what you guys want, and we're going to give it to you, but we're going to give you a little clean dirt, because these guys are friends. They've been friends a long time, and I know these guys. Son of a... <laughs> so, where the f are we here, man? Whose house doing? is this? Is this your house, dude? Yes, this is my mortgage, man. No, I haven't seen you for quite a while, but Gary and I, we bump into this, yeah. each other every now and then. Of course you do. There's a little club that you guys all hang out in and, and bitch about us club. guitar yeah. players, right? Yeah, lead singers yeah. club. Yeah, it's yeah. called... <laughs> I could never get in for some reason. They hey, you're a singer, me. too, though. Don't, don't be denying <laughs> that. So you should know, like most guitar players, that don't sing, they don't know what it's like being a singer. You should know how miserable it is for us and how hard it is. It is. C can I get you a tissue now, both of you? <laughs> yeah. would, you like, would you like some tea and some throat coat, maybe, before yeah. we have yeah, this sweet. conversation? <laughs> but now, <laughs> first question I got, I did, them stairs are killer. I mean, how do you get a Marshall stack up here? How do you get a set of drums? How do you get a grand piano up? <laughs> this shit right here? Boom. Come on, man. Well, I guess that answers that question. Show me a studio. Oh, I understand you guys are it. making a new record or something? Yeah, we so, are. Look at this. Is this your shit right here? That's it. This and is my best friend. This is like, um, this is too ghetto to build an actual vocal booth, so this is my vocal booth. Wow, that's so freaking cool. It just you it drives everything thing? out. You know what's so cool about this is that in a vocal booth, trying to sing, you know, in a country. You get none of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it feels and you feel claustrophobic. Like, yeah, yeah, and you feel like you're isolated from everybody else. You could be jamming right here. Yep. Hey! Good God almighty! <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear some music, right, guys. You're yeah, doing so a new record here, so I mean, I guess like... We how, didn't say it was a good it? record. How long is it? They said it's a record. Right. Today, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Today, it doesn't... <laughs> no, it's matter. actually, you know what? It's a great record. We're excited. We're pumped. But, but, I mean, how long has it been since you guys done a record together? Yeah, we like to do one every 12 years. Yeah, you know, me too. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we like and to really... with it. <laughs> it's funny, we did one, what, 2007? When we got yeah, back together, because we 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 were, we were split up for about ten years. Me yeah, and me and uh, yeah. I want to talk to you about that stuff yeah, yeah, outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's interesting. Yeah. But, but but I don't want to spoil that. But so you, how long is this record about done? Or you halfway it's, through? It's it? done. We're, we Gary's cutting his last vocal tonight. Wow. For, uh, we've got fourteen new tracks. We're excited. Listen, about. blow it out when we sing. Yeah. <laughs> you might get you I you might need you. Up, I might need you. By the way, we were thinking that you should actually throw. We're not, we don't tell anybody, but there's like one line in somewhere where we throw with it. The, the fans please. have to find where's that at. Where was please. find please. Sammy? Where's please. Waldo? Where's please. Sammy on? It? And we'll do a little competition. I would be honored. Run right on that thing. Right on that right. thing, man. Let's with turn the, that thing on when the, the time comes. And we and already did. We already recorded. Oh, the thing that you did, I've been recording. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what direction are you guys going with this? Are you uh, extreme? Doesn't just, have a direction. I know. Well, we never I want had to talk direction. about that too. We grew up in bands like Queen. Where you know within one album you would go from an opera to a little little piano track to an acoustic track. Yeah. Brian May would sing a track. It was like always really different. You know, and Zep did the same thing. You know, there would be some beautiful acoustic tracks, and yeah. so all the bands that we loved, the Who, everybody did crazy whatever they felt like because it was actually just true to art. You know, it wasn't so much like. You know, we could have probably paid attention to our label. We'd probably have sold more ra records. But uh, even when we did more than words, it was you know. Hey, you're still here. You're yeah. still yeah. recording. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so look, we're we're we got some. This is probably our heavier stuff we've ever really? done. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, good. Because yeah, that's that's what uh, everyone expected once they heard you guys live. Sure. You, that then I realized you same thing when I heard words. I thought, oh, these guys are pretty cool little yeah. acoustic band. Little yeah, Everly Brothers. Everly Brothers, <laughs> you know. And then I heard the record. Oh, that, hard <laughs> funk in there yeah. too. There's a, a lot of there's funk. a lot of album returns after they saw so, this. So what's uh, let me? How, can I? Should I pick one or do you want to pick one? Uh, well, what do you want to hear? Something rocking first? What do well, you think, Gary? Beautiful Rise? girls. Isn't that a Van Halen song? <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 this, easy this is beautiful girls party. That was the secret. Something. That was the secret. You pick something. That was the secret. We're gonna play that one. That's the one you're gonna sing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, that's badass. That's the best shit I think I've ever heard you guys do. That's, I agree. Uh, that right there. Oh, it's modern. I'm not just blowing smoke. Look, I took. I still got <laughs> goosebumps. It's modern. It's melodic as shit. Your phrasing is killing. The yeah. guitar solo. Yeah, forget about that. Off. 
guys ain't doing as, as deep as what you just did. You had like five different things going on. <laughs> Each part of your solo, you know, yeah. the way you started, yeah. so simple. That's badass. Thank I'm you, dead man. serious, Coming man. Coming for you, man. That means a lot. Oh. It's killing, I'm going to start crying now. I need the tissue. How <laughs> crazy is it, though? I, I mean, I, I want to go out there and do the interview because now it, I'm so inspired right. to talk to you guys about music. Because how trippy that you guys extreme, and always has been, but that is you got such good musicianship, you know, coming out of there. And you got a guy that can sing and phrase and, and you got good tone. That's so rare. It's always usually about one guy. You know, it's, it's either the guitar player and the singers, Somebody's you know, the plant right, page yeah. and all that, of course. But... You guys are, that's as good as any of the shit out there that I've heard, man. Damn. Cool. It's so good. These guys are musical. Let's go outside and, and uh, I, wanna, I wanna talk about how you get that way. Hey, welcome back to another Rock and Roll Road Trip. And uh, I'm sitting here with uh, Nuno and Gary and I just heard some music and uh, wow, I mean, how do you get from from the grungiest down and dirty stuff to the to the lightest stuff and all points in between? You know, I'll let Gary, Gary, it's probably different for Gary. For me, I was the youngest of 10 kids. And when the youngest of 10 kids, you walk into one room and you're hearing the Beatles. You walk, that, uh, those generational gaps, you go in another room, it's, you're learning about Zep. You know, and then you go and you have ACDC in the other room. So to me, I never looked at it like, man, we're into rock or we're into pop. It was all of it. So I was always kind of like that. You are what you eat, right? Sort of, you know? It's funny. When Extreme came out, we, are, we always consider, considered ourselves a bastard child of Queen, Zeppelin, and Van Halen. You know, which we were. We had a little yeah. bit of all Throw the that. Beatles in there. Too. Throw the Beatles. <laughs> well, they had, you know, all, the, all, yeah, yeah. all those bands had Beatles in them, right? Yeah. So, but we grew up in that generation that, you know, Aerosmith, The Who... Uh, Zeppelin, of course, the Beatles, uh, and that was just part of us. So when me and Nuno got together, it's funny, we were in separate bands in Boston, but when we met, we kind of filled a void for each other. He had all this music, and I, and I was beginning to write more lyric, lyrically, and we filled a void, and uh, it, was, it didn't matter what we wrote. When we met, uh, it was a club owner said, come by the club, it was closed, he asked me to come by, have a drink. He showed up as well. It was just the, the three of us. I didn't know him that way. We talked. We talked about the bands. We talked about Beatles, Beatles, Zeppelin, Aerosmith, all the bands that we grew up on. The next day, with, Gary had never heard me play. And the next day he called me up and he asked if we wanted, he was going to fire both his guitar players if I wanted to be in a band with him. And I said, you never heard me play. He said, I just know. I already <laughs> yeah, know. That's true story. Uh, yeah. well, Craziness. Hey, so it was yeah. a vibe. That's for, and he yeah. had to fire two guys. Two guys. <laughs> yeah, for you because so, there's not room for two guys. And with the way right. you no, no, yeah, yeah, no. I was bad with play. I never played well in the sandbox. No, the there's guitar certain player. guitar players that do not need yeah. a second guitar player. You it just it? gets in the way. So what's, what's the secret to rekindling a great friendship and a, and a great musical friendship? I mean, what, what brought you guys back together? You gotta love somebody enough to hate them. <laughs> that's, a, that's family stuff. You know what, it's family. Yeah. And, and yeah, you, you have, family you, it's family, but you always know you have that umbilical cord somehow, that invisible, that's connected, whether you want to be or not. And, and if somebody's always on your mind that way and they bug you enough and annoy you enough to do that, you know that that love is there somewhere. It's, but you know, as human beings, we're all broken in that way. We, yeah. we, our egos get in the way, yeah. you know, all that stuff. And, and, and some people don't learn. You gotta, you gotta learn, you gotta look back and learn from your mistakes. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. Even when we were separated, when he put out material, or I did, we'd, we'd, we'd want the first one, you know, he'd be the first guy I'd wanna know if he dug it and vice versa. Look, I went up to the house, when he, when he you know, a lot of people think he left Extreme to do Van Halen, by the way, he didn't, I left. I left what six months before, yeah. and, and and then. Yeah, I remember. That's right. That's you were right. doing some. You're about to do Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. And 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 then I'll, and then even to the point that I was when Gary actually went to do it. The first one up at the house up at Daddy's was me to support and show up and listen to the stuff and and you know I was cool with it. I had no problem. Wow. Walking in, in 50, <laughs> see, I I did that. I, I walked in those footsteps. I walked into 5150 one day and didn't come out for 11 years. Yeah. <laughs> so we spent three, but but I, walking in there, what was your first impression when you walked in and and saw the the little magic? Uh, well, uh, I got the call that summer, you know, and there was there was those commercials with Dave, you know, uh, Welcome Back Carter thing going on, and, and I got the call from the manager. Says you want to go there and audition. I go, after, after I chuckled, I go, yeah, okay, you know. And I, I literally walked in going, I'm going to spend the weekend with Van Halen. I'll sing a couple, couple of V8 songs. I'll go back to Boston and tell my buddies I hung out with V8 that weekend. 
and I ended up staying there for three years. But when I when I <laughs> <laughs> but when I when I walked Welcome when, to the hotel <laughs> When I got there, uh, I knew Michael from before, Extreme. We bumped into him a yeah. few times. When when I left Van Halen, Eddie was on the uh, he was just coming into, hey man, I want to take over my own band. It'd be like, uh, okay, let's paint the album white. I'd say, yeah, okay, let's paint it white. I'd say, no, I want it black now. I'd say, Okay, uh, black's cool. And they'd say, no, no, I want it white. Then. Well, look, I'll get you back to you and tell you what color I want it when I'm ready. Right, right. I, like, that's what I had to deal with every day of my life. And was he that hard to get along with at that time? That just... Uh, no, when I, when I walked in there, I, I remember the, the first day, it was 12 o'clock, he came out of the studio, you know, shook my hand. You want to sing? I'm like, can I take a piss? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Michael, I go, you got to help me. You got to help me with, believe it or not, I go, you got to help me with the Sammy songs. You know, what's on your turntable now? What's in your CD player? What's on your iPad? What's on your I'm always going to be a cl- yeah, 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 yeah. I'm always, I just got the new Who record because, you know, I'm just, just a Who, Who? fan. Who? <laughs> they just put it out. Tremendous. I didn't know. I had no idea. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. You played me a couple tracks yeah. yesterday. Yeah, it's oh, great. Well, Daltry's, the hoop, Daltry's in good form. But uh, past couple of years, I'm a big Zach Brown fan. You know? Oh, what a trip. And uh, that Americana, just the melodies. The, 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 the thing that hooked me was their, their harmonies. I go, man, these guys are like the Eagles. You know, yeah, it's a talented me of the musician too. Yeah, I great. Mean, he, he's got. He's classically trained. Yeah. yeah, he can play and sing at the same time like crazy yeah. shit. But you can probably do it too. I can't. No, a lot I got to go guys, jitter dang and yeah, then sing I'm the and same. then jitter dang <laughs> and sing. I can barely play a riff and sing. I'm not good at that. <laughs> no, exactly. people like Geddy Lee did that shit. They'd be oh, walking. Oh, that's crazy. unbelievable. Like, what are you doing? What's happening here? Yeah. Yeah, Zach's one of those guys. But what about you, Nuno? What are you, you, you know, listening to? One of the bands I thought that was that was kind of cool that. Yeah, now I'm probably gonna say this and they're gonna like that's not really new, but it is new in the sense of like you know when Muse was doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. I thought it had a lot of the influences that we liked as well, some Queen influences, yeah. and yeah. and I like some of the electronic stuff they did as well, and melodies, and and uh, you know because I was a big Radiohead fan, and I thought he was a he was a big Tom York fan, so I liked I liked what Muse. I love Radiohead. Yeah. I think Tom I'm a York is a great fan. He's the most sensitive singer on the planet. Yeah. That guy puts goosebumps on me. Look at talking about him. I think mentions him. Yeah, yeah it's like you know, I'm I'm pretty easy. You know, yeah, one I'm blows a big Radiohead and, fan. Big yeah. Yeah. But it's so creative. So, so you know, what makes you happy? I mean, what what what, what makes you happy, Gary? What I mean, makes me yeah, happy in life? You what don't makes have you, to be. Music. What makes you think I'm happy? Well, <laughs> what makes what would make you happy? What would make like me that, happy? You know, makes me. Uh, I mean, I'm, a, get, I'm a simple man. I, where I, do you get joy from? Yeah, I get joy. I do get joy from um, from music and performance. Performing, you know, driven, man, driven, driven, this guy. Just uh, get him a stage. He, every time I play anywhere near him, he's always there and always comes down and plays with me. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of singers won't do that. You know yeah. that? I mean, yeah. singers, they're all, oh, no, I don't know. I ain't feeling good. Oh, no, hey. Oh, know. yeah, that's that's just about everything. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And most of it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but, but no, Gary's always a sport. So, but what, what, what gives you joy? You know, um, I think I think uh, for me it was... Uh, I've been trying to work it out, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we all, because, you know, the, we, one thing I definitely learned that uh, everything I thought made you happy, made you happy for a minute. Tell me you know, about it. You know what I mean? Tell so me about I, I, I read something a, a while back. I actually have it in, when you came into the kitchen, it's written there because I need to, it says, it says that uh, happiness is not a future event. Do you wow. know what I mean? Yeah, it's no, like, it's one of those things yeah. that everything that we're doing here, it's the hardest thing for any of us humans is to be present and right. enjoy this yeah, right now and yeah. be happy about what's this easier said than done because we always think like the the, the platinum record when the dream we had is going to do it and then you still got issues you got problems in personal it doesn't change personal life yeah. it doesn't change any let me look at what happened with any band the greatest bands in the world the van halens everybody everybody zepp you could sell all live your dreams but you think those things aren't the things that yeah. those are those are things that you enjoy but happiness has to be you know you have to just you have to be you have to yeah yeah you have to you have to be blessed whatever, with whatever we're doing now that's every, why i'm asking you guys i'm looking i'm still looking yeah, I, mean, yeah. I ask everybody you're not going to find it you're not going to find it yes it's i being, am it's being yeah. present oh, you're, you're already happy man it's right here how could you be happier than being sitting with us right now Hi. it doesn't get any well, better well that's a little overrated but <laughs> i'm happy i would be happy to play a song with you guys how about that that would make that me would momentarily make me happy yeah i know your fingers oh yeah i'm a guitar player fingers a little stiff it's kind of yeah well, we are back and uh, we're going to do a little, going to do a little something. Look at this funky man. Look at this funky man. Huh, good guy. Oh, Lord, have mercy on all that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys picking on a Who song. I like this because everyone would expect us, Gary and I, to do a Van Halen song, which is out. That's out. That'd it be wasn't crazy. It'd it be stupid. It wasn't on the set list. It'd be really so, stupid. So, so we're going to do a song that... Van Halen did. <laughs> yeah. But the Who, it's a Who song. That's right. So, yeah. 
Who? And Nuno gets to show off his acoustic chops here. Yeah, I get so to show a... off that what I did for years with a right hand and a National Geographic tribal. Uh... Oh! Yeah, anyways, that's all for another episode. <laughs> This song, what I like about the lyrics in this song, it's timeless. This is going on today. A lot of this is it's the same old thing. Don't same get old. fooled again. Don't get fooled again. You know, it's like, ah, okay, we won't get political. Ah, give it to us, new. Take a bow for the new revolution Smile and grin at the change all around Pick up my guitar and play Just like yesterday And I get on my knees and pray hey, We don't get fooled again Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. See you next week. Woo!